Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Learning and Sharing. Today we are going to put some light on the history of remote sensing. Uh, you can say historical development of remote sensing. As you all know, in our previous video, we discussed the remote sensing, that what is remote sensing technology, how it works. So we had a very, very a brief overview of remote sensing. In today's lecture video, we will discuss the development which happened that how did this subject grown, how this technology grown with the time. So what were the major out breakthroughs in remote sensing? So you, you see, we have a very fascinating uh, history of remote sensing when it started from a gra ground based system to the spacecraft satellite. So, you know, so we had a different devices which were used uh, for remote sensing of data collection of images, image data collection uh, from uh, balloon, kite, to cameras, to the satellite, spacecraft satellite. So it is very interesting journey. Uh, we will see that how it developed, how it grown, and what was the, you know, uh, you know, what were the first stage, initial stage, how it was been, uh, in, the, in the initial stage, ke shuru shuru mein remote sensing kaise tha, kis tarah remote sensing start hua, koon se devices jo hai na, wo uh, employ huye remote sensing ya data, image data collection mein. So, aaj hum iske baare mein discuss karenge, particularly the remote sensing ki history or development iske baare mein discuss karenge. Aapko pata hai ke uh, previously, we have remote sensing about me discuss kia, kia tha. So, if you haven't watched that video, you, uh, you can watch that video. As I told earlier, that remote sensing technology works, uh, you know, on visible light, on the electromagnetic radiation. I mean, the light or sunlight or the light which has been coming from the sun, which has been falling on the ground. So that light is being emitted or reflected back by the object which is present on the uh, Earth's surface. So the different objects are different reflections and emissions also reflection observation. So remote sensing works on the light which is being reflected back to the uh, to the space or to the sky or the which is being uh, reflected by that object. So that uh, light is being captured or being recorded by some devices. Uh, you know, now those devices being worked through the satellite or the sensor. So without wasting time, let's go into the history of remote sensing. So we will see what happened and what development so let's go to the details of the this lecture. Now, if we talk about the brief history of remote sensing, modern day remote sensing achieved historical breakthrough with the invention of photographic camera in the early 19th century. Uh, so this remote sensing uh, history start when once we had uh, you know uh, development or you know evolution of uh, photographic camera. So a French photographer and balloonist uh, Gaspar Flex uh, was the first person person who took aerial photographs of Paris from hot air balloon in 1857. So 1857 can be a breakthrough when a when a when a French photographer uh, Gaspar Flex he took a photographs of Paris and uh, from you know from 18 meter above from the ground. So that was the breakthrough. Later on, different objects such as kites, pigeons, rockets, and airplanes are used to take Earth images. So first of all, in 1857. Jo French jo, uh, photographer tha, balloonist tha, usne jo na Paris ki photos li, uh, uh, yani ke 80 meter ground se upar. Uh, the kites which were first used, it was used by A.D. Arthbal in 1882, or Arthur Bertot, French, he, he used 1889, yani ke unne kites ko use kiya for the remote sensing purpose, for, for recording the images of the earth. So pigeon, uh, Bovarian pigeon corpse in 1903, uh, 1903, yani ke kabutar jo hai, 
یعنی کہ جو برڈس ہیں اس کو یوز کیا راکٹس راکٹس وار یوز فار الفا نوبل ہی واز سویڈش ان 1897 یو نو اباؤٹ الفا ہی واز ا نوبل لوریٹس اینڈ ایئر پلینز وار یوز بائی ولبر رائٹ ان 1909 سو وٹ از بین سیڈ دیٹ ریمورس سینسنگ اسٹارٹ وتھ دی ایریل فوٹوگرافس the prime objective of aerial photographer to gather topographic knowledge of local data the first organized attempt to take series of photographs carried out by monsieur tribolo in 1879 meanwhile a novel approach of mounting cameras on kites were regular features in aerial photography in the last two decades of 19th century so you can see here the images that the in the first uh, you know in the initial state the the objectives of taking the images of earth was to see the topography or topographical features of a local area but slowly and gradually this technology you know improved with the time so the beginning the kites were used balloons were used you know you can see here that uh, these are the kites and the balloons where the cameras uh, cameras have been fixed here to take the photographs of the uh, local areas now you know visible spectrum that if you remember we also discussed the, how the remote sensing technology works so here the most important thing is the visible spectrum or the light sunlight so in this uh, the visible spectrum is the portion of electromagnetic spectrum that is visible to the human right so if you look at the visible spectrum a spectrum which start from an from low, low to high frequency or high to low uh, high to low frequency you can say so the visible light is very important for the remote sensing so electromagnetic radiation is the range of wavelength is called the visible light a simple light just come simple light we get a typical human eye will respond to wavelength from about 380 to about 750 nanometer so this is the response which is been uh, you know taken by the uh, human eye so a spectrum does not contain all the colors that a human visual system can distinguish so if you look at the spectrum it doesn't contain all the colors what we have at the moment uh, like you know particularly the human being so we can't distinguish all the colors so unsaturated colors such as a pink or purple variation like magenta magenta for example are absent because they can only be made from a mix of multiple wavelengths if you look at these are not being present as individually but they are they are being formed with the mix up of the different lights in the 17th century isaac newton discovered that prism could dissemble and resemble with white light so here the major breakthrough in the photography if we talk about the photography which is the basis of remote sensing in earlier stages the invention or you know the theory which was given by the isaac newton was very important it was a, like a breakthrough breakthrough at that time so what is then then he was the first to use the word spectrum latin for appearance newton observed that when a narrow beam of sunlight struck strikes the face of glass prism at the angle some is reflected and some of beam passes into and through the glass emerging as a different color band so he said if we cross through a pass through the light uh, through the prism you know some light is being reflected by it some light pass through the prism so when the light will pass through the prism it you know give give us a different shades of the lights or different bands of the lights newton originally divided the spectrum into six named color uh, red orange yellow green blue and the violet so this was the you know colors which were being found by crossing through or passing through the prism he later added indigo is a seven color since he believed that even that seven was a perfect number is derived from the ancient greek sophistry so uh, he made experiments so when he put you know uh, you know the light when the light was coming from uh, from the window to usne ye tajurba kiya tha fir usne us light ko jo simple light the usko prism se pass through kara hai aur usko pata chala ki we have a seven la, uh, colors which are being shown so here it means well so electromagnetic spectrum which is very important here 
uh, when we have a, a white light pass through the glass prism, it's showing these seven colors, uh, different colors, different shades. Similarly, similarly, the remote sensing technology works more effectively in this uh, band, this spectrum, this is called the is visible light. Visible light is very important in remote sensing technology. Uh, during 1960s, devastating earthquake, uh, G.R. Lawrence took many eminent kite photos of San Francisco and, and California together with fire, which had wrecked both cities. So, in uh, G.R. Lawrence, he took photos of California and we had a, some sort of, uh, you know, natural disaster, catastrophe in the form of fire. So, usne uh, cam uh, kite ke through cameras ke through you can see here these the camera has been fixed here he took the photographs of uh, you know local area that area to see you know the damages here in 1908 in infectious beginning was laid in aerial photography when wilbur wright and lp bone williams used aeroplane to photograph so now we are being moving further to the aeroplane so you know you you, you saw that First, the you know uh, uh, cameras, uh, you know kites and balloons were, were used. But afterwards, in 1908, again uh, another breakthrough happened is when the uh, you know aeroplane was used. Since then, remote sensing technology has gone many steps forward by evolving from aircraft-based visible wavelength photographic system covering small Earth territory to space space. So from them, you know afterwards you know, uh, remote sensing technology is a tremendous success. Uske baad bahut it is went from, you know, uh, from aeroplane to the, uh, covering a small, you know, area to the, you know, almost whole of earth, uh, you know, from, you know, airplane to the space based or digital or multi hyperspectral system uh, through the satellites, having coverage of entire earth with easy and cheap monetary access of the data. So. It is start from the aeroplane when, when we had a very small area to cover when the invention or evolution of, you know, uh, you know, space set, uh, satellites. Now we can, we can cover, we can take the photos or images of almost whole earth. In the World War I, remote sensing aerial, uh, aerial photographs uh, were used for the military sur surveillance. Both German and US armies got strategic assistance from aerial photograph to a certain enemy position. So you can see that in World War I, uh, the remote sensing you know, technology was used uh, in the form of aerial photographs to see the position of the enemies. So the Germany and US armies, they both used the aerial photography for that purpose. So some surveying agencies started aerial photography as mapping application in soil, topography, forest, and agriculture in 1930. So after the First World War, War uh, then, you know, uh, the remote sensing technology swapped or transferred from, you know, military surveillance or multi purpose to the, to have a more, you know, uh, you know, uh, record, uh, images or data of about of the, you know, mapping or soil or topography, forest or agriculture. Subsequently, a science of photogrammetry evolved. The American Society for Photogrammetry was founded in 1930. Uske baad ek, ek official platform mil gaya, remote sensing ko. To sabse pehle US mein uh, ek society bani, uh, you know, uh, which is was titled, you know, this American Society for Photography, and later on was it was renamed as American Society for Photography and Remote Sensing. So, यहाँ पे एक official बुनियाद पड़ी कि you know जो remote sensing पे काम हो रहा है या जो photography के काम रहा है उसको एक एक system मिलाया जाए और उसपे आगे जो के बहुत है आगे जो तहकीक भी हो और उसपे जो है ना improvement भी लाए लाई जाए after Second World War, aerial photography pushed remote sensing technology beyond visible spectrum with applying infrared and microwave radiation. So, as I mentioned, visible light was very important. It was used for remote sensing at the beginning. 
But afterward, infrared and microwave radiation also been used for the remote sensing, which extends scope from mere mapping of to monitoring land cover type, crop yields, biomass, and vegetation health, natural disaster, and soil condition. उसके बाद इसका इसकी extension हुई, यानी कि इसको एक एक सम की वसत मिली कि it's it went from mapping to the monitoring of land cover type. उसके बाद crop yields. बायोमास और वेजिटेशन हेल्थ नेचुरल स्टार्ट नेचुरल हजार्ट एंड सॉइल कंडीशन तो उसके बाद आप जमीन जो सॉइल है उसकी कंडीशन को पता चल नेचुरल हजार्ट जो नेचुरल कैम्यूनिटीज उसको आप मोनिटर कर सकते हैं देख सकते हैं जो वेजिटेशन है जो एग्रीकल्चर है उसकी हाई हेल्थ और यू नो क्रॉप टाइप्स क्रॉप रील्स और प्रोडक्शन उसको भी आप मोनिटर कर सकते हैं अगेन वी हैड एन अदर ब्रेक थ्रू इन लेट जुलाई नाइनटीन सेवेंटी टू द यूनाइटेड नेट्स United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA began the series of landsat program with the first earth resource technology satellite subsequently named the landsat 1 so 1972 mein jo NASA hai usne space uh, ek satellite choda landsat ke naam se with with the first earth resource technology satellite ERTS1 उसका बाद में नाम चेंज हुआ दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट स्ट्रक्चर रिमोट सेंसिंग रिसर्च प्रोग्राम बेस्ड ऑन स्पेस सेटेलाइट ये पहला एक स्ट्रक्चर्ड और ऑर्गेनाइज प्रोग्राम था रिसर्च प्रोग्राम था जिसको यानी स्पेस सेटेलाइट के थ्रू लिया गया द मल्टी स्पेक्ट्रल डेटा विथ रिपीटेटिव कवरेज रिकॉर्डेड बाय द ऑन बोर्ड सेंसर लीड टू द बेटर ऑफ क्रॉप कंडीशन मिनरल सॉइल्स अर्बन ग्रोथ एंड मेनी अदर एर्थ प्रोसेस तो इसके थ्रू व्हेन वी हैड दैट सेंसर्स हैज अ मल्टी स्पेक्ट्रल यू नो डेटा एंड दे हैड यू नो रिपीटेटिव कवरेज मींस वो एक दिन में दो مرتبہ या एक हफ्ते में दो مرتبہ समथिंग लाइक दिस नो दे आर बीन रिपीटिंग विजिटिंग द अर्थ यू नो सो द देन आफ्टर वी हैव बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ अर्बन ग्रोथ मिनरल सोइल दिस ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ यू नो कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ द अर्थ लैंड सेट्स अ जॉइंट वेंचर between nasa and usa geological survey so that landsat program which is still been going on is actually the joint venture is a been collaborated you know venture uh, between the nasa and the usa geological survey so these are the you know major events which happen when we look at the you know history of remote sensing you say in 1800 we had a discovery of infrared by sir w hashil and 1839 the beginning of practice of photography then 1847 infrared spectrum shown by g b l photo in 1859 photography from balloons balloon photography started in 1859 1873 the theory of electromagnetic spectrum by g s maxwell yani ke uh 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 न्यूटन के बाद जो थ्योरी दी थी वो जी सी मैक्सवेल ने दी थी इट वाज अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक स्पेक्ट्रम 1909 फोटोग्राफ फ्रॉम एयरप्लेन 1960 वर्ल्ड वॉर वन एयर एरियल रिकॉन्सियर इन 1935 डेवलपमेंट ऑफ रेडार इन जर्मनी 1940 वर्ल्ड वॉर टू एप्लीकेशन ऑफ नॉन विजिबल पार्ट ऑफ ई एम एस मिलिट्री रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट नाइनटीन फिफ्टी स्पेस फोटोग्राफ of the earth explorer 6 first tros meteorological satellite launch pehla meteorological jo satellite hai which was giving uh, data or information about the you know weather and climate 1960 sky lab remote sensing observation from space 1972 launch of landsat 1 ms spencer 1972 rapid advance in digital image processing 1982 launch of landsat 4 new generation of landsat tm 1986 french commercial earth observing satellite sport 1986 so you can see we have a 99 launch of icons iko in a very high special resolution sensor style very high resolution in terms of over your remote sensing satellite the similar you know what we have discussed so as those technology satellite erts one later renamed landsat it one was the first remote sensing satellite launched in 1972 by the nasa 
for surveying, mapping, and monitoring of earth resources. Earth resources. So that was the first satellite, and we already discussed that in 1972. Realizing the potential of this emerging technology, many other countries. Uske baad, later on, the many other countries like France, they, you know, they had a satellite sport. They launched sport satellite. India launched IRS. Japan they launched GERS and Europe ERS have entered in this venture. So far, six satellites in the series of Landsat have been launched, of which first three are the first generation satellite and carry return beam, Vodacon RBV, and multi space spectrum imaging sensor. While the second generation satellite carry apart from MSS, an advanced imaging sensor called Thematic Mapper. Yeah, it means it means that six, you know, Landsat satellites been launched and they have a different purpose. Uh, three satellites in the, in the series of sport. Sports also three uh, satellites had been launched by France for data in the multi-spectral, petrochromatic spectral bands with a normal lane and a historical modern. Indian remote satellite IRS I1, IRS IV, and IRS IC. The indigenously developed satellite have been put into the orbit in 1988, 1991, and 1995, respectively. Uh, with the sponsor sensors like, uh, you know, LISSR, LIS2, LIS3, WIFC, and PAN. So you can see, the, you know, now the different countries are being involved in launching the satellites uh, to observe the Earth as a whole or different characters. So these are the, you know, satellites. Uh, Landsat satellite, sports satellite, space craft satellite. So thank you very much for the watching. You know, I hope you have some sort of idea or information, you know, regarding the you know historical development of uh, remote sensing technology. So if you like my videos, please subscribe and share with your friends to have uh, more videos in the future. So till then, take care of yourself.